hello again right so last lesson i set you an activity um after the video so you needed to watch the demonstration in the video first and then i asked you to do the bouncy castle activity uh form activity which was where you showed that you'd created a new form that you'd changed the properties of it and then you'd done some work in a macro to produce a save message so um i thought i'd just give you uh, some feedback on that. As you can see, it's 10.30, so it's a couple of hours before um, this is due. And I didn't think I was gonna see many people's work, but I was so blown away by how much work I, I've got in already. I thought I'd show you some of the amazing things that everyone have been doing, um, just because I'm so proud of you for working so hard and independently. So you can see everybody's name as I scroll through on the left. Um, and as I say, this is two hours before the deadline. So this is how many we've got so far, which is incredible. So all different styles. Make sure I can see the names here of all our great students who are working so hard and working independently and um, producing the goods. Really, really proud of you guys. Um, I'm going to give you a, a, a walkthrough of how you did that for those people who are struggling a little bit. Um, so well done to all of these. These are, you know, were done super early, done brilliantly. And Chris and I are proud of you all for working so hard on your own. Um, I think all the skills that you're developing during this time of working independently, being resilient, um, managing your own time, just fantastic. So well done, you guys, for getting that in early anyway. Brilliant. So proud of you. Um, so if you have been struggling with um, these new little bits about form stuff, I'm going to quickly go through the bits that I asked you to do. So Bouncy Castle form, I haven't completed it, as you can see, like everybody else has, but I can, I've got enough to show you what you need to do. Uh, so the first bit was to make sure that when the form is opened, it's ready for data to be entered. And all that is, is clicking on the form selector and going to the property sheet and changing data entry to yes. So that was the first thing I asked you to do. The second thing I asked you to do was to create um, a save message on the save button. And this is where we did a little bit of work in events um, and macros. So if you remember, we went to the event. Mine has already got its embedded macro because it's already been done. Click on the ellipsis dot, dot, dot. And you should have got a message box which appears um, and shows that the data has been saved. So those are the, the things that you needed to do to get that bouncy castle uh, form to work. So I'll show you it working. Um, I don't know, come back to uh, six by nine. Five pounds a day. So when I save it now, it comes up with a message, and um, there we go. So that's the homework. So can you make sure you get that done? Check that you're doing it right. If you're unsure how to do that, still, if you go back to the study directory, and this is the video um, week two, lesson two, that will go through the entire demonstration walkthrough. But well done for those who've done it so far. Keep going, the rest of you. Get that bouncy castle form done. Good skills being done here. Well done.